Hello everyone, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to create an API request in the Postman. So let's begin. There are multiple ways to create an API request in the Postman. The first one is to create a request from the launch pad. Just click on create a request and then you will see a whole panel or a screen to create a request. Another way to create a request is to click on new button. Then click on request. You have to provide the request name and description and then you can create a request. Another way to create a request in the postman is to click on the file menu, click on new, click on request. Then again, you can provide a request name, description and select the folder where you will place the APIs. For this tutorial, we need some REST APIs to create a request. For sample APIs, you need to open the browser and search for the dummy APIs. Dummy REST API. Click on the first link. Here you will find the multiple APIs. I am selecting the first employee API. It will return all the list of employees. I am just copying the URL. Let's go back to the postman. Click on this request button, provide the URL. Now the important thing is that we need to select the method of that particular request. So let's go back to the documentation and you can see that the method for this particular API is get. Now go back to the postman. By default, it is set to the get, but in order to change the method, you can select on this drop down option and you can change the method as per your requirement. Now just click on the send button. So you have executed your first API successfully in the Postman. There are multiple sections here. The first one is that this body section. In body section, you will get the response from the server. And here in this case, the status is success and API written all the list of the employees. You can also change the response to raw or you can select on the preview. So the status shows that your request is okay and returning the 200 response. If you hover on that, it will give you a description of what 200 means. Then it will provide information about the time, how much your API took the time, then the size of the, your response. Also, you can see a different sections here like cookies, headers, test results. We will cover all these sections in our upcoming sessions. Now let's take another example from the dummy APIs. Open the new tab, go back to the documentation, just click on this one. Now I'm taking the API where I need a details of an employee whose ID is one. Go back to the postman, click here, provide the URL, click on send, and that's it. Now the API has responded to you with the one single record whose ID is one. Now you can see that whenever we send a request to the server, it will create a history on the left side. In the upcoming sessions, we will learn more about the Postman and its features. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We hope that you learned something today. See you in the next lecture.